Well, first of all, I, I sincerely hope that the rise in the share price is not only due to the uh, decision to uh, stop production of the A380 in 2021, but, but primarily due to the fact that we uh, presented good results you were just referring to. Well, I mean, to put, it, uh, to put it simple on the A380, I mean, if you have a product which, despite all the efforts you put into that, uh, you can't sell anymore, or you can sell only below production costs, then you have to stop that product. And this is the decision, a painful decision, that we uh, had to take. And sir, just, I mean, putting that into context then, I mean, does that mean that going forward we can expect perhaps less innovation, less product launches out of Airbus in the future, and perhaps a little bit more focus on the technology itself and on existing models? No, no, no. I mean, uh, obviously, we put a lot of resource into the 380 over, over many, many years. Um, and uh, the decision today means the end of production, but not the end of a program. By the way, we will continue supporting the 380 for many, many years to come because we have more than 120, 220 out there operating. Half of that is Emirates fleet. No, I mean, uh, if we see a shift of resources uh, due to that decision, uh, it will certainly, if anything, boost the innovation uh, of, uh, of Airbus uh, in the future. And under the new management, as you know, we are in a transition phase right now. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.